I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Wednesday, August 19th, is found in Matthew, the 8th chapter, verses 1 through 13. When he came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed, and Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a proof to the people. As he entered Capernaum, a centurion came forward to him, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, in terrible distress. And he said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion answered him, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. And I say to, to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard him, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Truly I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from the east and west and sit at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, while the sons of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness. Their men will weep and gnash their teeth. And to the centurion, Jesus said, Go, be it done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. The word of the Lord. What Jesus looks like. Many will come from the east and west and will, will eat. Verse 11. When we look at pictures of Jesus, we often see our own reflection. In Japan, he looks Japanese. Pictures of Jesus in Africa show him with dark skin and black hair. In Northern European cultures, he is often depicted as fair-haired and blue-eyed with a light complexion. This isn't shameful or wrong unless we impose our image of Jesus on others. It's natural to view Jesus through our own lenses. But if we take the body of Christ seriously, we recognize Jesus in all types of people. For all human beings are made in the image of God. It should be no surprise then in our reading today that Jesus sees God at work in a, in a Gentile, this Roman centurion. Jesus recognizes his own and marvels, and then reminds us that the household of God is much bigger than people who look like us and act like us. Rather, many will come from every race, skin color, tribe, orientation, nation, gender, ability, culture, to eat at the great feast in God's banquet hall. Even people who look like me. Let us pray. Christ, you welcome all to your feast. Teach me to do the same. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.